Welcome to Go Okanagan. April is almost upon us and that means it's nearly Daffodil Month, the time of year when the Canadian Cancer Society is looking for your support. But we kick things off a little bit early here at UBC Okanagan. It's the annual Cut for the Cure event and we'll bring you some of the fun and excitement and freshly shaved heads on today's show. Talking to Matthew Hovell with a brand new haircut. Yes, I, yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's a little cold right now, but... Well, at least it's warming up here. You were the first one to get your haircut today. Yes, I was. I was. Me and my friend Dave over there were the first ones to get our haircuts today because he helped me chair the event, so this is what we're doing. This is Cut for the Cure here at UBCO. Tell me some of the things that are happening here. Well, we got face painting, henna, but our main thing is Plan B here. Um, they're doing hair, shaving your head and doing hair um, styles. This is our big event before April for Daffodil Month, and our goal is actually $5,000, but right now we're over five thousand wow. dollars and we're only an hour in so it's really good wow five thousand dollars already yeah it's that's, unbelievable that's incredible and uh, of course through daffodil month we're encouraging everybody to put on cool events like this and help raise money for the canadian cancer society Welcome back to Go Okanagan, coming to you from the Cut for the Cure event here at UBC Okanagan. And right now, the man behind the cuts, we have Casey Donovan from Plan B headquarters. You've got quite a setup here. Thank you. Well, a lot of your a lot of your team down here working. Yeah, we took uh, we took the opportunity when we got the phone call from the Canadian Cancer Society to uh, close down for the day and volunteer our time and. Uh, bring everything we had to come down and see if we could raise a few bucks. We do some uh, center of gravity, we do some things like that. We were up at Constable Neil Bruce last year doing the head shaves for the kids, uh, cuts for the cure last year here at UBC, and when they phoned, we said, why not? So what's it like for you to see people come? Because, I mean, hair really means a lot to some people, you know, like giving up their hair, yeah. it, 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 it can be a big thing, and you guys are, are, are right there, you know, walking them through it. Yeah, you know, uh, I think for the guys it's a little easier, but when we have... Um, women that are willing to shave off two, three, four years worth of hair and go right down to the right down to the wire for the cause, I think it uh, I think it's a lot more dedication. Yeah. Yeah, a lot more commitment. Does that inspire you and your and your and your team to uh, keep doing this kind of thing? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. We will do this anytime we have the opportunity to to kind of give back and partake. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for coming out and doing thank this. You. It's great to see yeah, you know, sure. the whole community coming together for for such a great cause. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. In the chair right now, Jen Nealon's going to get a, a little trim. A little trim, yeah. I'm shaving all of my hair off today. All of your hair? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. What, yeah. what, what makes you want to do that? Um, well, I know lots of people that have had cancer. Both of my parents have had surgery to have cancer removed, and um, it's just time for a change as well. So what I did is I put up two donation pages, one for me to cut it and one for me to not cut it. And so $625 says cut it and 200 says don't. So I'm going for it today. <laughs> well, $600 for cancer research. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, I'm really amazed. I'm absolutely astounded that my friends and family contributed so much and, and really grateful for that. Well, how does it yeah. feel right now? You, you look like I'm you might be a little so shaky. Nervous. It's right now. It wasn't an hour ago, but it just kind of hit me as we were walking over here. And there are a lot of people standing out there, too. <laughs> Graham has just taken the chair here. How much? Uh, you got you got nice head of hair there, Graham. Been going for a year and a half. Uh, so how much of that you taking off? Whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing going bald. All right. So what makes you want to do that today? Uh, just for friends and family uh, that had cancer and suffering from cancer. He's getting it all shaved off. What do you think? How's it looking? He looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Better than before. <laughs> and you're like you're his biggest cheerleader. Yeah, I would totally date him with his new haircut. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, guys. Mm -hmm. So are you next? I am definitely not next. I am sorry. I'm not as courageous as he is. Yeah. Oh, actually, I feel like I've been put on a spot now. No, no, not, not at all. Not at all. We're not, we're not saying at all that you should get your head shaved at all, are we? No. We are, though. We are, really. We are. I think you should. Does peer pressure work? I'm kind of an impulsive person. Uh... All right, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Yeah, 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 all right. You know that feeling when you really regret a decision? <laughs>
That's just about it for us today here at the Cup for the Cure at UBC Okanagan. Thanks to the organizers, all the people that bravely got their haircut, all the people that donated. It's for an incredible cause and it's off to a great start. Now, you know, I wanted to do my part to help out, but I really don't have that much hair to make it worthwhile getting cut. So I did notice that there was a pie in the face area. So I thought, well, what the heck? So we held it open. We got what, 25 bucks? 25 bucks. We raised $25 for cancer research. And for that, I get to take a pie in the face. All right, here we go. <laughs> or like maybe three pies in the face. Thank you very much. That's it for the show. I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you next time. I'll go. Where do I go to clean up? <laughs>